Well, what's up guys in today's video we're going to be talking about tesla and their recent q4 2019 production numbers uh the stock is up a ton ever since back in june with the stock around may around june 3rd the stock was 170 dollars so now we're 144 dollars as was reported in this video so guys i want to talk about some of the, the recent news circulating around tesla stock and whether I think it will continue going up or not. So the biggest news is basically a Tesla recently released their Q4 2019 vehicle production deliver, uh, production delivery numbers. And this is what's kind of been the catalyst in the stock uh, so far in early 2020. Uh, the stock is up pretty big. So now shares at an all time high. So basically this was released. It says in the fourth quarter we achieved record production of almost 105,000 vehicles and record deliveries approximately 112,000 vehicles. In 2019, we delivered 367,500 vehicles, 50% more than the previous year, and in line with our full guidance. So here's more as we continue to focus on expanding production in both the U.S. as well as newly launched facility in Shanghai. Despite breaking ground at Gigafactory Shanghai less than 12 months ago, we have already produced just under 1,000 customers' saleable cars that have begun deliveries. We've also demonstrated production run rate capability of greater than 3,000 units per week, excluding local battery pack production from beginning late December. So basically, guys, uh, you know, very, very impressive numbers here. Uh, this, this report right here kind of silences a lot of the skeptics that were very bearish on Tesla. And uh, the good thing is, is that, you know, a company like Tesla, you don't expect them to rake in you know most of the profits now the whole thing is about gaining market share in the electronic vehicle market and that's kind of where things are going in this decade so i expect to see a lot more uh, ca electric cars on the road in 2020 and um tesla man tesla is it's been a big winner if you if you if you held strong if you were patient and, and thought long term on tesla your your shares are up pretty big so i just want to read uh, some more uh recent news about the stock so there was also a pretty nice analyst upgrade as well that I want to show you guys. So there was an article posted yeah, hikes price above five hundred dollars. So it says analyst Jenna poured genuity to five hundred fifteen dollars and three hundred seventy five dollars while maintaining the box February two thousand nineteen. We believe the trend will excel towards a test. We suspect a solid Q four combined with a robust Q three should put these fears to rest and put to rest the issue as the credit expires so guys basically uh, a lot of analysts and this stock priced at five hundred dollars and above the most shorted stock on wall street so here's an article uh, that mentions that tesla short sellers have suffered three in 18 including a 500 million dollar hit on friday as electric car makers quarterly deliveries beat investors expectations drove record high so guys basically uh, a lot of the negativity surrounding uh, Tesla and will they be able to deliver you know everybody's uh, talking about how Elon and, and this this recent increase in is kind of silencing a lot of his critics uh, he's, he's finally the numbers are, are backing up exactly what he said so you know if you've been betting against Tesla um, you're down a ton of money so let's look at talk a little bit more about the stock price itself we're currently sitting at we're currently sitting at around four hundred forty five dollars a share and the fact that, you know, this is just the beginning of the, the new decade. This is just the beginning of electric vehicles. Uh, I think $500 would be a very, very conservative price target for Tesla in the near term, in, in the short term. Uh, uh, this company has a lot further to go. It's a $77 billion market cap. And uh, the fact that they're one of the dominant players and kind of revolutionized electric vehicles where you've got other companies like Ford and GM and Volkswagen are kind of playing catch up to Tesla. Uh, I don't see any reason why we, we, we w couldn't see, uh, you know, five, six, seven hundred price target in the future as long as there's not a lot of share dilution. So, you know, this is really interesting. Uh, you know, in the past, especially last year, I was pretty skeptical of Elon Musk in general because I, I, I love his passion and I love his hype. But, you know, I want to see the numbers back up, you know, the the, 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 the talk. So now you know now you know he's backing up what he's saying and the numbers are showing and you know if you've been buying tesla stock you're like i mentioned earlier you're up a ton uh there's a couple ways to play tesla uh this doesn't look like a, a stock you, you definitely want to be buying put options on or shorting the stock right now 
a, a conservative approach would be to say uh, buy uh, long-term call options. Uh, that's a way if you if you can't afford shares. Uh, there are some brokers that you can actually purchase partial shares on. So uh, if you guys check out the link in the description, I'll link to a couple brokers that you can purchase partial shares with Tesla if you don't have four hundred forty six dollars to purchase a full share those two options are you have M1 finance they have fractional shares you guys can sign up under my referral link and you'll get a twenty dollar credit I'll get a twenty dollar credit and then there's also another uh, fractional uh, share app called stash invest they only charge you a one dollar fee per month and you can actually buy Tesla shares in there as well. So those are kind of the couple of options if you're looking at fractional shares here. Uh, if you're looking at fractional shares, you can simply just invest your money over time. Like for simple, you could put like ten dollars a week into Tesla if you wanted to build up a position over the long term. And then you know, you put in ten dollars a week at the end of a year, you'll have around five hundred twenty dollars invested in Tesla. So you know, assuming the price doesn't skyrocket that much more, although we are up. Um, 45% over the past year that allow you to, to get some ownership like you say guys if you wanted to buy shares uh, outright uh, I think this is the beginning of some very good times for Tesla um, you know we're not even when we're, we're so early into the next decade we're only a few days in and we're already seeing the, the sales and the, the, the deliveries back up so you know over 300,000 deliveries that number can only increase in the future I mean there's there's literally millions and millions and millions, you know, of vehicles that that have to be replaced. Now, not everybody will go electric right away. There's going to be, you know, a lot of people that are going to hold on to their gas guzzlers. But there's literally millions and millions of people like myself. Uh, and actually, myself, I plan to buy the Ford Mach-E Mustang. But, you know, a lot of people are going to be moving into Tesla cars. So there's lots of opportunity here. So... You know, that's it. Uh, that's it for now, guys. I just wanted to update you on some of the news that I've seen about Tesla stock at an all time high. A lot of good news coming out and not so much hype. There's really is uh, a lot of data that's backing up this share price. And uh, although a lot of the future growth is priced into the stock, you know, where will Tesla stock be five, ten years from now? You know, assuming there's not major dilution uh, or perhaps maybe Tesla will do a stock split. You know, we don't really know what's going to go on in the future, but things are looking pretty good for Tesla so I'm bullish on the stock um, I'm going to be buying some call options on it as well and uh, I'm not going to be shorting the stock uh, down the short sellers down three billion you know over the last year or, or year a couple of years it this doesn't uh, this if you're looking to short or buy put options there's other there's other uh, stocks that you can go to uh, some of the cannabis stocks are kind of uh, have been down quite a bit and there's some other uh, industries that you could target so that's it for now, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel I'm going to be, because I'm going to be posting videos like this, updating you guys on what's going on in the stock market and other ways you can invest. And let me know what you think about Tesla. Do you think shares will continue to go up? Do you think it will go down? What do you think about Elon Musk? How many shares do you own? Are you buying Tesla or what's going on? So just let me know what you think in the, in the comments, guys, and take care.